Hi folks, we are back to raise the rest of the oak frame up at mum and dad's house. But hopefully it's ready to go up now, so stick around and we'll get the job done. Well, we're back and this is what we're left with. We're about 11 months, believe it or not, nearly a year on from when I started this project. So we've got to hope that it's all gonna fit back together again. The first job is to sand everything back to an oak color. Dad's quite keen for the lighter sort of golden oak color. And then we're gonna use the Osmo UV oil to try and preserve that for as long as possible. So I've got a load of belts for the belt sander. It's just gonna be an hour of that to start with but I'll show you the plan of action for where we're gonna be placing the frame. As those of you who follow us on Instagram know, Dad's stonework seems to get quite a lot of love, but um, again, it's been a bit of a labor of love. He's been on it for maybe uh, six months, eight months or so, but it's all finished now. And this is the area where the frame's gonna go. So these are the saddle stones he's made. Um, rather than a single piece like our ones on our patio, these are made to match the uh, the other wall. Now we were kind of working out how we're best to do this. So rather than, we're just kind of making this up a little bit as we go, but it made sense to us. Rather than having 150 mil square on top, we've shrunk that in by about five mil on either side, just so that the oak overhangs just by a fraction, figuring that the rain would kind of make its way away from it. It wouldn't pull underneath anymore. We're also going to drill a hole straight in the middle there with some stainless steel rod. It'll go down and be resin fixed into there and then it'll be into the bottom of the middle of the post to locate it. But of course, we've got nearly a ton of weight, so it's not going to go anywhere, but it's really just making sure that everything stays central on here. And then along the back there, we've got a wall that again with some of these pads and there'll be three posts sitting down on there. Right, the first job is going to be to give these a go with the sander. Like I said, we're going to try and take them back to the original sort of golden virgin timber colour. And I think I've got 60 grit. I know you can go down to a 40 grit on these, but I'm hoping 60 should take it out. It's going to take a while, so I think it's time to stick on a podcast and get stuck in.
Here goes the first dowel. This is as far as we got on the first day or first half day. We managed to get up the two main kind of three piece frames. Second one didn't press record on the camera. We basically did the same thing, we tilted it up and then we got the kind of straps under it and kind of lifted it on. It was all a bit dodgy, but it's up there. Next job really is to get the long beams that join the two. There's a third post which comes down onto the end of the wall there. The far end, when I designed it, the original idea was to keep this back frame against the wall and it was gonna be bolted there to stop any racking. Now we've decided to set it away to leave like a nice shadow gap behind so you can kind of see through. First job is gonna to be to sort out some scaffolding because we don't wanna be wobbling around on ladders up here.
Alright, so how are we doing? We're kind of getting there. It's pretty heavy going when it's above shoulder height. So we're trying to use the scaffolding and things like that. Um, the heaviest piece is up now. It's just a case of seeing if it's moved much over the winter because it's all obviously been in storage. We've got the last of the big beams up, but I hadn't drilled them when I made the be uh, made the frame last year. So what I've got to do now is re-drill these. So see here, I mean, it's pretty tight. This will go in a bit, um, but the holes were drilled in the top beam, but I need to drill through in the tenon of this one and then we'll have to offset that. And that means that when we peg in, it'll pull it in. I know you can get like an offset pricker type thing, which is like a bar with a spike on the end and it will mark it up automatically. But all I do is use the spade bit straight down just by a few mil drill. Then I can use that point that it's left the hole, measure three mil in towards the shoulder and then peg that, uh, and then drill that in the tenon. Apart from that, all these look like they're gonna go home fine and they'll peg in. Same with the uh, braces. Again, if you're gonna do this properly, you can get, I think it's called a podger. It's like a stainless steel uh, T-bar with a tapered peg on it. And uh, you can put them in there temporarily whilst you're either constructing it or even back in the workshop and then you can pull them out and replace with the oak pegs. One thing I've noticed is as soon as you put these oak pegs in, you'll never get them out. You'll have to drill them out because the friction, just even if you tap it in 10 mil, they're just absolutely solid. So it is get everything right before you even touch the oak pegs. So I'm in first, yeah? Yeah. I'm not in yet. I need to go your way. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah. okay. saw down here that would allow we're not going to be able to go any further now because mm. wait that's it Coach bolts if we need to. Oh, look. Well, we didn't finish it. Uh, as always, disappointment when you can't get everything done you wanted to. We've got the main structure up, as you can see. So just say six long beam type rafters to go up these two braces for some reason i hadn't drilled them and uh, when i did the framing so i came to fit them and everything's not quite working it's probably because it's the last part of the jigsaw and everything you know it's cumulative so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of scribing i've marked them out ready but i'm gonna have to come back and do that then we can drill them offset them and hopefully that will go together now once we've done that then just a bit more pegging over the other side. Here, there's a few more. I'm short of a few pegs, so I'm going to order some more from Yandles. Uh, here, that's ready to peg down and drop down. And then once we've done that, all of the rafters will drop in these grooves, which should all line up nicely. But it's taking shape. So you can see here, this is where the patty is going to come to the edge of that slab. Um, and so what I'm going to do is carry our rafters across and then we'll drop a plumb line down. If we're gonna do it right to the edge, we might set it back a bit, maybe follow that curve so that they kind of uh, mirror that. If not, we'll carry on beyond this angled beam and then we'll cut them at a, you know, so it follows that angle. So we'll just kind of play it by ear, but we'll get them up first and see what it looks like. I had planned for it to be a one video raising of the oak frame but it looks like we're gonna be back for a second day. And in that second day, what I'll try and do is finish that, put the rafters in and do the final sanding ready for the UV oil. 
So we're gonna hold it there. If you wanna watch the actual making of this, which happened nearly 12 months ago, then I will put the playlist at the end of this video. Likewise, I'll also put another one up, which is the recent oak raised bed project, which was quite fun, which we did last week, and that'll be at the end of this one too. But that's it, any questions, stick them down below, any comments, anything, advice, support, emotional support, stick it down below. But that's it, thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.